Hello and welcome to Talk to My Car once again. Um, welcome to uh, this sensor engine sensor video series. Uh, talk to My Car. We make your cars talk to you in language only they understand. Please, when you have time, feel free to visit our Facebook group at the URL highlighted at the bottom here. Uh, so that we have uh, more interactive uh, chats um, and you know communications with you about uh, modern vehicle diagnostics. Uh, my name is Ivan Chubuka, and today. We are going to have a chat about how we are we are talk to Micah understand uh, MAF sensor operation. MAF sensor means in in MAF sensor stands for MAF the MAF bit of it stands for mass airflow uh, on modern cars the compu the engine computer needs to know how much air exactly is going into the engine so it will require uh, a way of calculating this uh, how much air is going into the engine so that it it, uh, it is able to correctly mix this air with the correct amount of fuel uh, to achieve uh, the best stoichiometric ratio uh, for engine performance and environmental emissions related um, requirements. Generally, there are two uh, types of two common types of mass airflow. Although um, one is less common than the other, the most common one in most almost all the vehicles in Uganda is usually the hot wire element version. Now, how this works is that um, if you had air coming from this end going to that end coming let's assume this is this side is the air filter side and this side is the throttle side or manifold side intake manifold side if you have air flowing through rapidly through um, this plastic conduit or plenum, um, you have the sensor on, uh, on top. This is uh, the molding and some circuitry on top, but inside here, through the body of, of this plastic plenum, uh, this sensor would have a filament out here. Now, this filament is uh, is um, has two wires although you you are seeing only three wires up top here I'll explain that uh, but what you have here is uh, the equivalent of um, a simple filament like you you'd have in an incandescent light bulb and uh, there will be heat generated because this filament is a resistor of sorts there will be heat generated now what the computer wants to see when it sends five volts on one of these wires up here these terminals here you would have one with five volts one with ground and usually the middle one will be the signal wire now when it sends five volts through this circuit um, it will ground this side of the signal wire and then it will see 
what how much resistance is generated here it sees that by the voltage on the signal wire the more resistance you have in this filament the less the voltage you have on that signal wire and vice versa so when it sends 5 volts and there is heat generated on this filament and this air blowing past the filament that air will take um, heat away from the filament and what the computer is going to to read is at what voltage or resistance because the resistance in this filament keeps changing with temperature so at what resistance does uh, a change in, uh, in in filament temperature stop or end that will indicate to the computer how much air is required to carry away the heat generated in this filament at that uh, specific temperature i don't know if you've uh, you followed my uh, description of how this works basically you have heat coming through it hits the filament and then the computer monitors this side the voltages on this side to inform it of how much resistance is in this wire based on the temperature that is left after uh, wind has taken away heat from or rather air that's blowing through has taken heat away from this sensor so the more when you step on the accelerator or when the throttle valve is opened more and more air passes through this plenum more heat will be taken away from this filament and that to the sensor rather the sensor will lose a bit of uh, a bit of heat so there will be a temperature change and therefore there will be a resistance change and then the, there will be a difference in voltage here i don't know if you get it and because that resistance will be decreased because the resistance will be decreased because of change in temperature and then the voltage on this line or here will go higher and when you take your foot off the pedal uh, there will be less air so this will heat up the filament will heat up a little bit uh, some more and then the resistance will change and then the voltage because the resistance will be higher the voltage on this wire will go up basically that's how that works that's how the computer monitors it and uh, is able to interpret how much air is going through now it uses calculations based uh, because it knows the speed of the air going through it knows the area of this intake plenum and it has a temperature sensor nearby which i will show you uh, in a slide further into the video uh, because of that temperature sensor it can make all corrections for uh, changes in temperature you know when you, you volumes of the volume of air um, when it changes um when the temperature of a volume of air changes its mass um can also change rather the mass is, sa is the same but for the same mass of of air uh, a change in temperature can result in a change in volume so the computer needs to correct that that's why it usually when you find a mass air flow sensor it will be either enclosed with a, an intake air temperature or there will be a separate intake air temperature sensor nearby um, the other type of mass air flow sensor uh, this is the less common one is the vein mass air flow now this one works more or less like um, a throttle position sensor like a typical throttle position sensor is uh, basically a potentiometer that uh, changes voltage output with the change in in, in the in, in the slider which is attached to a vein uh, if you haven't seen our video on 
how TPS is, uh, how t throttle position sensors work, how typical TPS work. Please um, find that video and view it. We give uh, a longer, more de definitive description of how this works. Um, in brief, what you have is a vein like so we on a hinge so if the air is blowing from this side say this is a uh, air cleaner side and this is a intake manifold side or throttle side yeah. if you have air going through the intake plenum in that direction from this end to that end it would push this vein in that direction back and forth more air going through would push the vein further that way. Take the foot off the pedal, less air going through, vein would come back this way. And so on. And while it is swinging like that, while it is swinging like that, on the other side of that vein is a potentiometer. Now, this is working almost in is, this is exactly the same fashion like a typical throttle position sensor. Please uh, review our video on uh, how the TPS works, um, but not that, um, as I mentioned earlier, usually uh, this sensor is either enclosed with an air temperature sensor as well, or um, the sensor may be separate but very very near uh, the mass air flow sensor briefly that's how that works um, as always i urge you to use uh, wiring diagrams where you can when you are dealing with um, electrics on vehicles whatever electrics abs srs uh, that is airbags whatever electrics you are dealing with on a car um, especially with these modern vehicles that have wires going everywhere so as not to mess them up please uh, endeavor to use wiring diagram in this case um, for purposes of illustration i'm using uh, a, a wiring diagram for a mass airflow sensor from uh, Golf Mark 4, Volkswagen Mark, uh, Golf Mark 4. Uh, that's the, those are the Golfs that were made between 1997, late 1997 to about 2003 or 4, thereabouts. A uh, very common Golf in Kampala these days. Uh, this is the wiring diagram related to the mass airflow sensor for this vehicle. Um, what you have here is a heated oxygen sensor and another heated oxygen sensor. This is probably um, because it usually has two. Most vehicles have two sensors, um, upstream and downstream. Um, those with uh, V-shaped engines will usually have double those sensors. So in this case, Usually these uh, golfs have uh, in line four cylinders in a line, so that they will have two sensors. But um, here is our sensor of interest today, which is the mass air flow sensor. And uh, as you can see in this case, um, it has five wires attached to it. And um, I believe one is a ground. This one is probably the ground. You can see it is shared by other sensors and their heaters. And another valve here sharing the ground. So that's the ground. And it's, uh, it's black and uh, yellow. No, it's blue with a yellow stripe. And then we have another wire which is blue, 
and then another one which is uh, brown with a blue stripe and another one with uh, which is lilac with uh, a red stripe and the last one has uh, is a brown wire with uh, uh, it's a brown wire with a red stripe now in here is our sensor but these two extra wires mean um, in there is an intake air temperature sensor as well and on this side we have our uh, mass airflow sensor wiring as usual check for ground for good ground on this side on this side of the sensor make sure when you put your black multimeter read on uh, uh, your black multimeter lead on this side and the red multimeter lead on the battery positive you should see 12 volts uh, on this side you should see five uh, when you put your red lead on this wire and um, your black lead on your black multimeter lead on the battery negative you should see five volts and on this wire you should see um, uh, voltage is changing between about 1.2 to about 4 volts depending on how much air is going into the engine at any time and these are related to the intake air temperature so I'll not go into uh, much detail on those you can review our video on intake air temperature and engine coolant temperature sensors to understand how that works and what you need to check um, if you came to talk to my car and we gave you a code related to that thank you for your interest as usual uh, we aim to save you time money and headaches when you're dealing with these modern vehicles and their related electrics uh, talk to my car works in partnership with SSK Motor Garage in Chalwajala that's where you usually find us especially on weekends uh, please call us on uh, if you need to talk to us um, I encourage you to use the Facebook group forum but if you can't and or you prefer calling you can call us on 0414-697-065 or come to SSK Motor Garage in Chalwajala and find us there Thank you for your time uh, in listening to this video. Bye.